Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt, Wet Matt that is. Deacon and I came out here today to do some shooting and get some random projects done. And the radar said there was gonna be no rain in sight. And as soon as we cross the county line, it starts raining and pretty much ruined all the day. We were gonna shoot some body armor and some other things and we let him shoot the 22. And one of my projects I had to do was to validate some Mark 211 that someone sent me to see if it really was Mark 211. For any of you that don't know, our Mark 211 is a really cool tungsten core penetrator, 50 BMG. In order to validate whether this is true Mark 211 Ralphus or not, we brought out the Barrett M107A1 with the 29 inch barrel. Caddy Armor sent us two 3 8 thick silhouette targets, hardened steel, that we've bolted together and we have downrange at about 25 yards. Now in the grand scheme of things, shooting steel that close is not a good idea because you could impart some ricochets or fragments that could come back. So we've taken some precautions. We've got Deacon, you know, 300 yards away. I've got my little blast shields and pretty much don't try this at home. We're gonna shoot our Mark 211. We're gonna shoot some M8 API, some Mark 263, and that new Swiss PAP that we got from Sam and SG Ammo. It's around 42, 45 degrees outside today. We're only gonna shoot a couple rounds at it, and then we'll go down and see what it did. So much fire, so satisfying. Here is the quote unquote Mark 211 you sent me for verification. Maybe there's our WCC 1980. I do believe these are counterfeit. We've already fired the one, we'll fire the second one. Well, read them and wheat, folks. This was the Mark 211. This was the M8 API. This was the Swiss PAP. This is the Mark 263. And then this was another of the API. And I'm not sure what that one was, but it had really low velocity. It claimed to be Mark 211, but it's very possible that it's just API or even M33 ball. I didn't see much of a flash so this is the first 3 8 panel. It's right around 397 thousandths thick, but they call it 3 8 Here was the second panel. We have a complete penetration on the Mark, II, Mark 211. The APIs did not penetrate. The Swiss PAP did not penetrate. 
but the Mark 263 did. Now, we'd have to get some more steel to see what the winner of these two are. We have that M2 Abrams tank shield or tank side skirt to shoot at some point, but wow. We'll have to make this one quick because the rain is starting again. Although, you know, I checked the radar multiple times and there was not a green little blurb over this area in sight. So I'm not sure why it's raining, but everything I wanted to get done today pretty much didn't happen. So I figured I'd make a short video out of what I was trying to collect to validate this, you know, quote unquote Mark 211 that was sent to me. It's a good thing that we performed this test before buying any more of it because they turned out to be fakes. I think the first indication was that the head stamp predated the actual production of our Mark 211 Ralphus. It is interesting though that our Mark 263 AP did fairly well against these stack plates as well. It would seem against this particular target that our standard silver tip API did as well as the more expensive Swiss P offering that we picked up from Sam at SG Ammo. With all that being said, it's time for me to get the heck out of here because it is movie night and I'm getting hungry. But at the end of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who helped make these possible because there's a lot that goes into them. Number one is my Patreon, Subscribe Star, YouTube channel memberships. I have a link tree in the description below. Various different ways to contact me if you have any questions or support me, you know, through Patreon or Subscribe Star or the YouTube channel memberships. I have I have discount codes and affiliate tracking links that essentially earn me a sales commission that I put right back in the channel buying AP ammo. Those Mark 211s will run you anywhere from 80 to over $100 a round. That's yes, one single round. Number two is Sam at SG Ammo. He always has a wide variety of import ammo for us to get our little grubby paws on. It was good to see what that AP SX would do against a hard target. We'll have to do a separate video to check velocity and accuracy potential. Number three is Caddy or Katie Armor. They sent us over those three eights torso plates for us to kind of do this test on to validate that Mark 211. Of course, number four is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.